So back at it, another workout. But this one is going to be slightly different to what I usually get up to. So this workout, I'll be following some of the workouts that are in the playlist for the 100 series that Jeff Cavalier has done on his channel, Athlean X. The gist of it is just two reps at pre-exhausted state and I'm doing a initiation set and then doing rest pauses for the rest of the exercise instead of doing the usual 4x12 or 3x10 stuff. As this is an upper body day, I'm going to be following four of his videos, his back, chest, shoulder and arms videos. And as crazy as I've set up this workout, I decided to do all the exercises that he suggested in those videos. So, so first stop is the barbell row. So the first set is this initiation set of 12 reps. Whatever I can do for 12 reps until failure. All the weight that I can do for 12 reps without breaking form. And the initial intonation set is done. We then do rest pauses and I'm doing uh, essentially um, pendel rows. Uh, as more or less, I do as much as I can until form breaks down, take a little pause, do it again. The little pause may only be like 15 seconds. And the same thing here with the shoulder press. Uh, with this one, it's mainly just the same thing. Initiate the set of 12 then the best pause. And here, the best pauses are actually going to be push presses just to gain a bit of extra momentum. Just help out because I've already pre-exhausted my shoulders so it's a bit of existence. Straight after is barbell curls and yeah more or less the same thing. Initiation set of 12 and then rest pauses until we get 20 reps. And then we're doing some incline dumbbell presses here. Well, slightly different in that we're doing thumbs up, which actually makes, um, puts more emphasis in the mid chest. So that was a nice variation that he suggested in this video. Uh, same gist again. Initiate a set of 12 and then a rest pause of up to 20 reps, however many breaks I have to do. So yeah, I did divide the workout based off the muscles targeted. So always trying to target the different ones because it's an overall upper body day, so everything's getting targeted. But the information for the other exercises and how many rest pause, how the rest pause sets were set up will be seen on the screen. I just want to just talk over why I like doing these. It's mainly the benefit is is that it does shorten your stay in the gym and you still get your same the same bang for your book so instead of doing four by 12 you just do one by 12 and then a bunch of rest pauses up until 20 uh and yeah you know you get a really good pump out of it it really did knock me out this workout perhaps because it's almost like i was doing four workouts and one because it's literally four videos combined to one i think next time i'm probably going to split up so one thing that i've how i split them up is that i would alternate between something that was going to target the rear delts something that was going to target my shoulders something that was going to target my biceps and triceps uh because you know um Shoulders and triceps is literally like push and then rear delts and biceps is literally pull and it's almost like I like split them up into push and pull So the entirety of the chest and back days is literally just push and pull workouts respectively and then the exercises are in the arm day and the shoulder day where some of them for the shoulder day are rear delt some of the arm day are biceps so what I'll probably do is I'll combine those to fit into the back day and then the triceps and front and rear and lateral uh, delts that would, the exercise that target them will be put into the chest day so that'll probably, that'll probably be the set for 
next time I do this rather than do all at once because I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it was a very long, grueling session. So yeah, each exercise has its own um, way of doing it, so you have to kind of watch the video to understand how each one is done. There are a lot of ones that, they're not really exercises I do, I'm only doing them just because it's suggested in the video that Jeff put out, but you know, I respect his opinion and he has made a set of workouts that are very task, uh, very taxing, yet you know, the whole concept is, is that it's, it can be done in a short space of time and yeah, you know, it really does um, hit the nail on the head and I think people refer to these as myo reps before, I think they're kind of the same concept, rest pauses, myo reps, I think they mean the same thing where you do initiate a set that pre-exhausts you and then you continue to do more despite being already in exhaust state. And it's where most of the muscle breakdown will happen so you could actually end up making more gains doing this than just your standard uh, rep range it's always good to have variety because the standard rep range can work that's what i normally do four by four three by eight three by ten but you know these always um are nice change up so I might actually make these days more kind of like a reset, like a almost um, like a deload day because the loads aren't really um, too aggressive. It just tends to be that the way I'm doing these sets are set up. It's, it's, it's making them a little more tougher than they actually are. He also did extra videos on the abs, legs and glutes. I think what I might do is I might combine the legs and the glutes and make it a workout in itself so I can have a push pull leg, like three day blast of these. And then also to see how long it actually makes me stay in the gym to complete these workouts because um, there is a chance that I might not be, be around for like two hours like I normally am that these could be done maybe on a good day, an hour, if not 90 minutes. And it would be an effective workout to do, especially if there are times where I enter the gym where I'm limited in time, I don't have all the time in the world. I just have to get a good workout in. These are probably a good suggestion to just absolutely take you to the limit. I mean, obviously you have to be, you know, determined and uh, gritted enough to do it because it, it's a difficult workout. Uh, I probably made it much more harder for myself because of the way I set it up. Like I was in the gym for a long time, like I've, as I've already said. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what you're into. You should definitely try this out. It's, remembering it, yeah, it was a very good workout. Well, so I think for some standard exercises that I've been introduced to by following this series and the, uh, the exercise selection, what we say dumbbell hip huggers is one of them for rear delts. Um, especially if you do it right, then it only feels like uh, it, you only feel it in the rear delts. You shouldn't really. It looks a bit like a row, but you shouldn't really be um, rowing it like. You know, you do dumbbell rows. I think for triceps, the GM press, it's kind of a bit like a skull crusher. Um, I don't really do skull crushers as much as I used to. I'm more into dips and even the dip variation where you're doing dip holds. Um, I never really did dip holds, but I kind of like the feeling of them. Adding weight would probably be the next best way of doing that in a similar way to doing uh, weighted hangs to develop that strength some of the isometric um, exercises that you can do I like introducing a bit more isometric stuff and then uh, he also suggested some hell on a hundred just to add an extra stuff in the workout 
uh, one was to do with inverted worlds, although I do inverted worlds in much more advanced nature. Uh, and I'm starting to think that trying to do that hold in that advanced nature was probably in the advanced stance where my feet are up. That was probably a mistake because it made the exercise a lot more harder than it probably should have been. So I probably should just go back to feet on the ground. The press up one wasn't actually as challenging. I probably combined that to being able to bench over 100k and you know just just having very strong uh, pectoral muscles and then the banded one, which was a lot more difficult, like alternating with 20 reps banded curls and then 20 reps banded overhead uh, extensions that was very difficult to keep um, going without any stoppages so it was more we just got the 100 reps for each one way or another and that's the workout like I said check Jeff Cavalier's uh, channel Athlean X that's where all these videos come from and then there's plenty of other videos that he's done I followed him for years a lot of good advice comes from him especially this series I feel like this is a nice suggestion you know to make some like almost like a budget workout where I can get you know a good pump in less in almost half the time that I would normally spend especially if I don't have the all the time in the world so yeah, hopefully you like this video, like, comment and subscribe, check out the other stuff I put out, until next time, onwards and upwards.